What's going on guys? How are we all doing today? It's Corey here, back again for Mr. Specialist, and today I want to talk about how the maps in Modern Warfare 3 are so poorly designed for the Domination game mode. In this gameplay you're going to be watching, I managed to go 80 and 1, and I pretty much stayed in the middle of the map the entire time. Don't worry though, I wasn't camping, it was very high action, and an 80 KD nonetheless, so hopefully you will enjoy the gameplay in the background, and it does directly relate to the topic at hand. But anyway, in Modern Warfare 3, the flags are lined up in a triangular formation, as opposed to how they were in the past in a straight line. In previous Call of Duties, the flags were typically lined up straight, with the B flag being directly in between the A and C flag. However, now Infinity Ward has changed the flags to a triangular formation because they saw that there was a problem with the B flag being in the middle. Obviously in Black Ops, a lot of people would like to camp at the B flag right at the beginning of the game to rack up their killstreaks, and this made it so that people abused the objective when the B flag was in the middle of the map. So Infinity Ward thought that they might try to fix the problem, but in fact, they made it worse. You'll hear a lot of commentators tell you that it's a good idea to stay the outside of the map in order to get to the other side and reach the enemy team's spawn, and that is very true, that is a huge key to success. But when the flags are spread out, you're going to have to run through a high traffic area to get to the other side, and that makes it very difficult to rush. Typically, when you go to the outsides of the map, not only are you eliminating the amount of angles that you can be shot from, but you are also going to an area that really isn't high traffic, an area where you can pretty much be safe and run into only about one or two enemies at a time. But, the way the maps are designed in Modern Warfare 3, especially on Resistance, you are going to have to go through some high-risk areas in order to reach the other team's spawn. For instance, if you start out on the C flag on this map, you have to pick one of the three ways that you can go, left, right, or middle. Let's say you go up the right side. Well, you're going to run into some head glitchers and some campers that are trying to protect the A flag, or just camp. Also, if you go to the middle of the map, there are going to be some major campers in the garden and in the house, and some very difficult positions to deal with. And obviously, if you go down the left alley to the B flag, that's a death trap. There's almost no way of getting across with people camping in the gift shop. So, especially on this map, with the flags being spread out, it's very hard to get to the other side because there's so many positions for people to set up camp. And really, no matter what way the game plays out, you're going to have to go through some very high-risk situations to get to the position that you want to get to. And not only that, but if you do get to the middle of the map and you manage to get into a, a, a very high-action area you're going to end up getting trapped there. I mean, with the flags being so spread out, people are going to spawn everywhere. And when that happens, you're going to end up getting completely surrounded, and eventually there's nothing you can do to protect yourself, as I have mentioned before. But anyway, that's why there's just a huge problem with domination. Obviously, you don't want people camping the B flag to get their kill streaks, but it's much better to be able to have a strategy in mind, and really there's no way of strategizing when you have basically the same option no matter what way you go. So that's why it's better for the flags to be lined up in a straight formation, and hopefully it'll be the same way in Black Ops 2. You don't like to have to deal with campers, or at least you like to be able to have ways that you can go to avoid campers. And more importantly, you would like to be able to get into the high action areas, but you don't like to get overwhelmed. So hopefully those issues are resolved in Black Ops 2. Either way, we'll just have to see how things play out. Anyway, if you guys enjoyed the video, definitely subscribe to Mr. Specialist. And if you'd like to see more commentaries from me, I have my own channel. Stop by, check me out. Anyway guys, I hope you did enjoy, and I'll see you all later on. Goodbye.